Hey, you ready for our walk? Let's go have some fun. I'm going to walk down the uh, Malika Hana bike trail, down to the Malika Hana uh, State Beach Park area, and I'll walk around there until we can find some fun stuff. So, let's go. Hey, what do you call a cow after she's given birth to her new baby? Decaffeinated. There's a crab claw down in the water. I don't know if these guys grow new claws, but that claw's going to have to grow a new guy. This is the ocean after somebody has pulled the plug and let three or four feet of water out. Or maybe that's the tide, I don't know, one or the other. But the water is definitely in the water. It's fun going on these walks because I never know what I'm going to see. Even when I go in the same place, it seems like the scenery changes because uh, the distance is constantly changing. Even right now, the water is changing me up higher on the shore. Coming in now at a fairly good rate. You can see the high tide mark for all the debris washed up on the shore. Standing right here, I'd say that might be six feet different. Some go down right to the edge to see if I can get a better feel for the difference in the high tide and, and this, this phase of the tide. I don't know if it's the very lowest thing. I don't think it is, but it's pretty low. The other day I thought so low that it exposed a reef that I had never seen in the four months we've been here. I can't tell what kind of fish they are, but there are a bunch of fish in the water. There's a little, well, looks like just kind of a drainage ditch that goes from uh, from about the town center of La Ye out to the ocean. The water appears to be just kind of standing, but it looks pretty fresh and clean. And the fish look healthy. And they're about, oh, on average, about six inches long. I'm standing on Kamehameha Highway, looking up towards the Laie Hawaii Temple, and I'm going to zoom in on it. You can see that beautiful palm tree lined road, a beautiful rock wall on both sides of it, and a meridian down the middle. Very, very pretty. Now I'm going to turn around real quick and let you have a look at the, the park at the end of that road. This is the Laie Hawaii Temple Garden and it uh, it's just a little reflecting park. There's no place to park. You have to walk here uh, but uh, but once you're here you can just sit and look out at the ocean. As you can see the ocean's gorgeous from here. And there's no beach access from here. It's just uh, just a place to sit and think. I believe that that island right there, I think, is Goat Island, but then I'm not really sure. That might be the island that you'll look out at um, that has the hole through it. Well, that doesn't quite make sense either, though. But anyway, that's the direction of it. This is a Laie Point right off to the right, and uh, and I don't see any other island. There is another island out here just a ways, I'll pan over to it. You can see a tiny little island there, but I don't see anything growing on it. I think goats would have a trouble would have trouble living there. Anyway, that's where we're at. I was wrong, there is a beach access. Go along here and then turn to the right and we'll go right out to the beach. I'm going to walk you out there. Ok, 
Okay, I've gotten a little better oriented here. That island there is the island right straight ahead of you. There are two of them. The one to the left is the one that has the hole in the middle when you're out on Lye Point. And then uh, the one on the right is the one out at the end of the point. And then this is the point. And I will pan across that. That's what the point looks at from this side. That's what it looks like. Those building lots are all million dollar building lots. And then the homes are another twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars, I think. Maybe more. Okay, and now I'm gonna pan out the other way. We're back at the island with the hole in the rock. That's the head of the lizard. Actually the legend says that the head was cut into five pieces and thrown out into the water. And I think those are all little pieces of the head of the lizard, all those little islands are. And then this that we're coming up on is Goat Island. And that has vegetation on it and you should support goats. I don't know if it still does. I, I assume it probably would. Uh, but they say that when the water's low, you can walk out to it when the tide is low. It's pretty low today, but I don't see a place you could walk out to it. That's Fukilau Beach that I'm looking at. In fact, if, if you've got really good eyes, right in the very back you can see the green building with the white trim on it. That's that spaghetti restaurant where the, where the egg um, outlet is. And then if I pan out from there, that must be about where the Malikahana State Beach Park where the first road cuts into it. I kind of suspect that's the place to uh, get to to walk out to Goat Island. I'll check it out, but not today. The walk is over. The time is up. I'll do it tomorrow.